Hyperlinks in Articulate Storyline let you give your learners something to click on, which will take them directly to whatever content you want to show them. I've got a couple examples here of some hyperlinks on this slide. This first example is a hyperlink that jumps to a URL. So if we click on that, then this web page opens that we want our learners to be able to see and browse. The second example on this slide is a hyperlink that opens a file. And if we click on that, it's going to open up a file. In this case, it's a PDF that the learner can look at or work with. And then the third example here is a hyperlink that jumps to a different part of the course. So if I click on this, it's going to open up a different slide that we can interact with. And hyperlinks are actually just a type of trigger in Storyline. So if you haven't explored triggers yet, it's probably worth checking out our tutorial on adding and editing triggers as well. That way you can also learn about all sorts of other ways that you can use triggers to create interactivity. In this tutorial though, we're going to be focusing specifically on how to add hyperlinks on a slide. So first thing that you'll want to do is select whatever item that you want your learners to click on. And in this example, I'm going to select this word within my caption. The word here is what I want the learner to be able to click on. Now you could select the whole caption itself or you could you know, select a shape or some text or a character. It's totally up to you what you hyperlink. And once you make your selection, you can right click and then choose hyperlink or you can come up to the insert tab and then choose the hyperlink button. And either of those things is going to bring up this trigger wizard and this is where you tell Storyline what you want to link to. So the action is what we want to select first. And if you're working with hyperlinks, probably the most common thing you're going to do is to jump to a URL or file or jump to a slide or a scene. So let's take a look at these. If we choose jump to URL or file, you'll get this file field that opens up right here. And this is where you can um, enter the file that you want to use. So you can browse to a file by clicking on this load file button, this little ellipsis. And then once you find the file you want to use, like if maybe you wanted to include this PDF, you could just double click on that and then you're good to go. Now, when you include a file like this as a hyperlink, the cool thing is Storyline is going to bundle a copy of that file along with your published output when you publish. So let me just show you what that looks like. It's going to end up looking like this. This is my published output. And if I drill into my story content folder and then open this folder called external files, it would look something like this. I would see whatever files I've included as hyperlinks. So it's just a neat way to you know, be able to add files within your content. Now, if you have lots of files that you want to include in your course and you want them to be accessible from anywhere in the course, it's really probably a better idea to use the resources feature on your Storyline player rather than hyperlinking like we've done here. So if you want to explore that, you can check out the tutorial called Attaching Resources to the Storyline Player. Okay, so now let's talk about a URL. If we didn't want to link to a PDF, but we instead wanted to link to a URL, what we would do is just paste that URL right into this field, the full URL. And then we could also click on this browser options button. This is going to let us set some settings for the browser window. So we can make the content display in the current browser window or in a new browser window. And if we choose new, then we also have some options here for the browser controls as well as the window size. So some nice flexibility there. And with either a URL or a file, um, another nice option is this little uh, check mark here. This button allows you just to make sure that the link actually works, which is always a good idea. So if it's a URL that you've chosen, when you click that green check mark, the URL should open for you. And if it's a file that you've chosen, it's going to open up Windows Explorer with the file highlighted for you. So you'll know, you know which one you chose. So that's pretty much it for at attaching a hyperlink that um, goes to a URL or a file. Let's talk about the other option where you jump to a slide or a scene. Once you make that selection, this field is called slide. And this is where you select where you want to take the learner when they click. So in this case, you can just you know select the slide and then click OK and you're done. So once you add a hyperlink like this, um, you're going to see over here in the trigger panel that a new trigger got created. And that's how you know the hyperlink is managed. And if you ever need to go back and make some changes, you can always double click and just you know modify the hyperlink as needed if you need to um, you know maybe adjust the destination or whatever. Now one more thing that sometimes people want to know is how do I change the hyperlink color that gets applied when I um, add a hyperlink to some text and that's controlled by your design theme. So up on the design tab you can choose colors and then say create new theme colors and then your hyperlink option is right here. So this is the color that's going to get used for your hyperlink 